You know, it's kind of funny because uh, Divorce in the Black came out, what, like a couple of weeks ago at this point, yet it's still being talked about. And I, I feel like Tyler kind of outdid himself with that opening funeral scene because uh, people are obviously still talking about it, par making parodies, memes and whatnot. And to me, you know, I'm just looking at the calendar here because it's currently July 23rd. And yeah, what is it? Uh, the 25th will mark two weeks since the movie came out. So yeah, I have no doubt in my mind the movie's still going to be in the public eye. If I'm not mistaken, I think this movie has had more of a public impact in terms of people actually talking about it more than a jazz man's blues, a mea culpa, however you say that title, along with Kelly Rowland in it, the last Netflix film, and to some extent, even the Medea Homecoming. I mean, obviously, that movie just did numbers because it's Medea, but I'm talking about, like, people just talking about it. I feel like Divorce in the Black might actually become a cult classic of its own as time goes on, and um, I still don't agree with that 0% Rotten Tomato score. Like I said, this was nowhere near Tyler Perry's worst film, but if the critics are, you know, all rallying together in terms of, okay, we're just sick of the same old thing, then they'll probably give more movies of his a 0% score. But in reality, it all depends on the people, you know, his audience. But at the same time, his movies are going to keep going, number one, no matter what. So in any case, uh, more to the point, this particular video is talking about, you know, Ava and why she even chose Dallas to begin with. And it could be just down to the fact that I mentioned this in the review. I'm like, she probably had that, um, you know, oh, I can fix him mentality. I Bob the Builder thing where a woman sees a broken man and wants to kind of build him up. And given the fact that she's a preacher's kid, it kind of makes sense because you look at how, uh, you know, the Bertrand family were like the talk of the town as well as the ones who were kind of pillaging it, you know, so they were always seen in a negative light for a good reason. But at the same time, you know, her parents being the church, you know, couple, you know, the pastor of the church and the first lady of the church. And it seems like without a shadow of a doubt, Sunday after Sunday, if not, you know, just randomly through the week, someone who was a victim of, you know, uh, Dallas's family, whether it be through Robin or, you know, uh, you know, getting pushed up on or what violence and what have you. They probably went to the pastor to, you know, get prayer. Who knows how many times. Uh, Ava's father had to go to the hospital, you know, um, to talk to a family and whatnot after they were victims of Dallas and his family's, you know, wrongdoings. And either way, uh, it would have resulted in Clarence talking about that family in a negative way. And Ava probably overheard it. And, you know, the rebellious nature of being a, pa a preacher, a PK, preacher's kid, it's like, you know, they're always, you know, held in a higher regard. It's like, okay, hey, you know, you're not just, uh, you know, the daughter of a just someone who's a dentist or someone who works at a factory or whatever. You're the, you're the preacher's daughter, so you must, you know, hold yourself in a certain standard. You know, like you, I bet she was definitely raised in a household with discipline, but not abuse. You know, and Ava probably saw the wounded animal that Dallas was. And under the guise of, well, mama, you and daddy always showed me what it's like to be, you know, uh, you know, a traditional wife and someone who loves and supports a husband no matter what. It's almost like Ava, you could argue that Ava purposefully threw her parents' teachings in their face. It's like, hey, you were always so strict with me, uh, always tell me what I could and couldn't do, who I could date and couldn't date. So I'm going to pick the most toxic person possible and then utilize your teachings that you kept drilling into me. And now, hey, you're going to regret it, even though it's really stupid because she was the one who was the true victim in all this. Uh, I wouldn't want to think Ava would do that to her parents, but... You just never know in certain situations. I mean, yeah, the movie just wrote her in such a way where she was way, she was like an angel and Dallas was way too much of, oh, I get it. A for angel, Ava. D for demon or devil, Dallas. Ha. Huh. Subtle writing choice, Mr. Perry. Subtle writing choice. <laughs> no, but for real, I'm just now figuring that out. So that was actually pretty clever. But 
in any case, you know, um, it's clear Dallas didn't fall too far from that apple tree, given the fact that when you're raised up in an environment like that, it's not likely that you will not be toxic yourself. And Ava probably, again, just felt like she could save him. She could change him. Hey, let's uproot and go to um, Atlanta. And, you know, maybe that can help you change. But obviously it did. I mean, uh, it was stated that at the wedding, like her mom raised sand, you know, even showed up at the altar and whatever. And I'm just like, I don't know. It goes back to what my mom told me when I started college and went on campus. Like, look, if you ever meet someone never did, mom, sorry to disappoint you. Here we are. <laughs> what I left in 20, 2010 and here it is 2024. But anyway, um, yeah, if you ever meet someone, make sure, you know, her family likes you because once you marry someone, your fa that family is, you know, your family too. So just make sure you're accepted because, you know, especially being in a college campus that is a melting pot of ethnicity, you know, it's not, it's, it's not everybody likes black people, you know, just saying, because I've had, you know, a number of nice women from different uh, ethnicities, not just white, some, you know, Hispanic and other races. And they were like, man, I really like you, Jeremy, but my parents said, I you don't don't bring a black boy home that happened like three times from high school girls and like four times from college girls and in some cases i would even and this is like something that happened over the past like five six years out of the blue you know like one of the girls i may have you know been connected with them on social media but we would rarely talk but it's like man jeremy i have to say i had a crush on you in such and such a year but my parents wouldn't let me marry a black guy. Now, in all those cases, they're married to someone who isn't black, but someone who uh, kind of makes them miserable or they really aren't happy. It's like, well, what can you do? So it's just one of those things where um, if you look at it from the perspective of Ava's parents, they definitely had someone lined up. And uh, I feel dumb because it's almost been two weeks, but I forgot the dude who was the nice guy who got beaten up by Dallas and his brothers after he and Ava broke up back in like high school, whatever it, it was the country dude. I forget his name, but he was the one going through a divorce as well. And her parents, like the minute Ava was like, Dallas wanted a divorce. Hey, yo, here's this nice guy over here. And it's like, wow, y'all had him on standby. So, and then, you know, her girl had that, uh, divorce party just ready to go. So everybody around them not only knew the marriage wouldn't last, but they were hoping and praying it wouldn't last because you know it was just insane but regardless how do you feel about it um why do you think ava got with dallas do you think that it wasn't just as simple as her oh i feel sorry for him and i feel like he's different you know he actually uh finished high school i can't remember but did dallas finish high school on his own or did he do it because ava was like an influence on him i wouldn't be surprised if that were the case because at the funeral her, uh, her dad was like he was the only one who finished high school and tried to make something better of himself and he's like you better not say it's because your daughter and it's like uh yeah so i don't know but yeah with that being said uh let me know your thoughts in the comment section below like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video